Hey guys, Liam Mookie here, and I'm back with another part of what if Izuku had the demon summoning app. This is part 7. In the last part, the USJ arc began with Izuku helping out Mr. Aizawa by leaving Ku Cullen to take care of a couple of the villains, while also helping out Suyu and Mineta. Soon after, create using a couple of his other demons to create Berserker and then taking down the Nomu with and beating Shigaraki and the other League of Villain members easily. At any rate, with him feeling well lectured by All Might, but not taking it at all. At any rate, with that said, let's get into this. Right after Izuku gave out his statement and told what he on what happened. Both Ku Cullen and Berserker soon walked up walked up behind him. As they almost looked kind of menacing and as tall as tall figures with wielding weapons in the process. As Izuku saying, Oh guys, calm down. Matt as as Ku, as Ku Cullen says, as you wish, Master. And Berserker saying, Okay, if that's what you want. Master, as soon after Izuki saying sorry about that, they can't. They're overprotective when it comes to me. As as soon after Sugaguchi is soon appears saying, "I understand, young Midoriya, but you think you could?" As saying, "Of course," and returns his demons back to the back to his phone. With them, as he soon gives out what he taught, what he told them everything, especially about the note about both of them killing the Nomu. A couple of the officers were kind of hesitant and wanting to put Izuku, well, well, arrest Izuku for what he did. However, he brought out both Ku Cullen and Berserker as he told them to give out their statement and why they did so. As Ku Cullen said, I've seen my fair share of battles in my lifetime. And that thing did not listen until one of us was dead. We could have, even if we tried incapacitating it, there would be no chance that he, that he would have stayed down. I believed him as nothing but a mindless monster, who can't who can't do nothing but follow orders. As Berserker say, Master didn't want me, told me to to protect his stu protect his classmates and kill any one of those who hurt, who hurt the man with the scarf. I want. I did my job. I didn't care if I killed or not. As as, as Izuku saying, yeah, I still haven't. He's new, so go easy on him. As he returns both his demons back to his phone, they begin. The cops be, still are hesitant to let Izuku go, but they decide to, realizing that he's way more powerful than expected, especially since a couple. Since a couple of villains said that Izuku was using a fire quirk without, without even trying against Shigaraki and Korogiri and wasn't even being burned by his own flames. After that, they're given at least a day they're given at least a day to relax after what happened at the USJ at the USJ. As Izuku is just on his phone. Is on his phone bidding and buying new demons and fusing a couple of them as he keeps getting like weaker and more less powerful demons like he normally like he would have which is understandable given his situation he needs to get stronger if he wants to make if he wants to get other more powerful demons while thinking this he soon paid a visit by a certain someone and that certain someone being the Anguish One, as he says, Hello there, Shining One. It's good to see you're doing well. And he's saying, You're the Anguish One, right? As he's saying, Correct, that is me. As Izuku's saying, But do you have a different name I can call you by? Because the Anguish One just seems kind of mean. Because it feel because have you felt anguish for so long that you have that you've only been called by that? As he began saying, hmm, I guess you're right. It wouldn't seem right to be called this while, you know, 
as I have felt anguish. Anguish for an eternity, for a li- for that could be several lifetimes. As saying, as Ezekiel asked, what kind of anguish? The anguish of unable to see humanity's potential grow outside of human outside of human quirks. As Ezekiel saying, wait, what do you mean? I believe I've guided human. Once quirks were soon appeared in in human history, that's when humanity began destroying each up itself over fear of quirks, the hatred of quirks, wanting a different quirk, or choosing to suppress the quirks. There was one person who had a quirk that allowed him to take quirks from others and keep them all to himself. As Izuku saying, wait. Somebody like that existed? Wait, if that's the case, they're gone, right? As he says, that's not completely true. They still are alive, but I have no idea where they are now. They're hiding in secret in some way that I haven't had time to find them. As Izuku saying, who are they? As he says, he goes by the name All for One. As for his real name, I have forgotten for so long. As Izuku saying, All for One. A villain that takes quirks and yet is still alive. I'm guessing he took a quirk that allows him to live forever. Your, your guess is correct, Shining One. This quirk allow, uh, holds his aging slowly and he doesn't. And he doesn't die easily as well. It's that very thing that makes him dangerous. As Izuku saying, damn. As he realized, so, you know this guy, but what's your name? As he say, my apologies after giving you that long history exposition. My name, you can call me Psyduke in a way. And it's saying, Psyduke? Huh. Okay then, Psyduke. So why do you call me Shining One? Because you're the one person who truly who truly take the app and made it his own. There are a couple people who do use the demon summoning app after attempting to end their lives. However, they don't do any much more than that. You, on the other hand, find every single possibility, use all of its functions, and even use it at its best. Not only that, your demon, the way your your bond with your demons is that you treat them more as your out, treat them more as your friends than you do as your servants. And for that, I see that you are truly kind. And as Izuku saying, thanks. However, about this all for one, can you help me find him? I want to help you put an end to the one skirt to the scourge of all quirks. As Psyduke says, of course, I will help you in any way I can, Shining One. You are the one to guide humanity in a way. As he Izuki saying, Me? Why do you say that's all I can tell you for today? As Izuku say, wait! <laughs> and he soon disappears as he realizes the one to guide humanity is me. As soon after he gets to his mom calls calls for him as she's saying, Izuku, you have a visitor. As Izuku wondering, a visitor? Who could as he's walking to the entrance of his apartment, he soon his mom he soon sees his mom and a girl with pink hair and goggles. As she says, hi Midoriya, as Izuku saying, Hatsume, what are you, how did you, how the hell did you know where I live? As she says, oh, I asked Mr. Aizawa if I, if I could find out where your address is, as she's saying, there's no way I kept asking him until he, until he tell me to leave, until I asked for me to leave, as, okay, yeah, now I can see that. Soon after, Inko asks, so... Is this a friend of yours, Izuku? 
as Izuku tells her, yes, mom, this is a friend from U- from UA. She goes to the support course. This is Mei Hatsume. And she's quite the energetic little, well, cre- genius in a way. As saying, it's nice to meet you, Mrs. Midoriya. As saying, uh, soon after, she comes in and grabs Izuku, saying, sorry, but I need to borrow your son for a bit. I hope you don't mind, as Izuku saying, hey, when did you, why are you? As saying, oh, go, of course, go ahead. He's just been in his room the entire time. I think he needs some fresh air. As Izuki saying, Mom, why? Why would you throw me under the bus? As saying, be, be safe, you two. Soon after, the door closed and Hatsume dragging Izuku. As saying, as he's asking her, why do you want, why do you want to spend time with me? Hatsume, seriously, shouldn't you, I know classes have ended at this time, but still, can, is there anything, normally you would be in the support course right now. They're saying, yeah, but you owe me, you owe me a date, if I recall. As Izuku saying, wait, what? I, okay, yeah, I guess you're right. As realizing that right after the USJ incident, he was unable to spend time with Hatsume that day. So, I guess he's making up for it today. As the two basically go around town for a bit. As they basically, as, as they go to an arcade a couple of times, they look around. Hatsume basically gets excited about a couple of support items being displayed. At, being displayed and Izuku gets, begins nerding out a couple, a couple times at some heroes. With the two of them actually enjoying themselves quite a bit. With Izuku saying, you know, I actually had some fun today. Normally when I'm with people, I'm always the butt of the joke. As she asks, why do you say that, Midoriya? Is saying, oh, it's pretty obvious. It's because I used to be quirkless. I didn't have power. People always treated me like I was nothing. And even though I always wanted to become a hero, people always shut me down because I was weak. To them, I was nothing. As soon after, Hatsume grabs his hand and saying, I don't think so. Just because you got your quirk now doesn't mean back then you were weak. Everyone ha- everyone feels like they need, they need a place where they want to belong. And now you can. If your quirk or without it, there are still people that care about you, don't you think? As Izuku is basically confused right now, saying, uh, who are you and what have you done with Mei Hatsume that I've known? And saying, oh, come on, you can be, you can be quite rude sometimes. As soon after, the two just laugh. As Izuku saying, you're right. Thank you, Hatsume. I really appreciate that a lot. And thanks for dragging me out for this forced date. I guess I could really use that. As she's saying, you're welcome, Adoria. As soon after, they leave. And Izuku realizing that it's pretty late. And they need to get back. And that Izuku needs to get back home as well as Hatsume saying the same thing. But before leaving, she soon gives Izuku a kiss on the cheek. As Izuku is shocked and surprised, wait, what? Why would you? <laughs> Going back to his old flustered skit, his old flustered self that he used to be. And she tells him, I can tell that you always can, you're putting on an act from time to time, just to say, just to make yourself look tough and sh- and saying that you don't really care about things. But now, I can tell this is the real you. And to be honest, I like to see the real you. As Izuku begins blushing, not just from the kiss, but even from her words, saying that she likes him. And saying, well, see you tomorrow, Midoriya. Make sure you come by the support, the support room tomorrow. I want to see more about that demon summoning, your demon summoning quirk on your app. As 
Izuku is still shocked from what happened, but is glad that somebody actually likes him for him, even without him being that co- becoming quite a cocky, arrogant, and not not caring, but actually is caring person that he's become, and looks forward to going back to UA. With that day ending, Izuku. Everyone gets back to class 1A and is and everyone being like Kaminari who are hyped about what happened at the US after what happened at the USJ because basically making them somewhat of celebrities and stuff like that. With Mineta also feeling feeling a bit of that star struck stuff as well. With Jiro basically shutting both of them down saying they're not really heroes because of that. And if anything, adult school are basically taking more, getting more of the credit than anything, especially alongside All Might. However, soon after, Tokoyami saying, I don't think that's the case. If anything, I recall the news outlet saying that a young student who was with the quirk ability to summon things had more, had got more recognition than All Might. As soon after, Tokiyami looks at Izuku with a couple, with a couple others being like Sato and Aoyama with Ida as well. As Ida saying, yeah, Midoriya, I'm glad that you helped out, helped out your fellow classmates and alongside us. As Izuku saying, of course, I wasn't just going to sit by and do nothing. I'm not the, I'm not heart, I'm not completely heartless. As Ida saying, but what I, we also know what happened to the monster that happened to when your when your so-called monsters basically just killed it and otherwise slaughtered it in a way. As Izuku saying, yeah, I won't lie, it was brutal, but what what they did, what I did, was the right call. Who knows what that thing would have done if I let. If we let it go so easily, it is soon after Ochako saying, "Yeah, I gotta agree with Deku on this." To be honest, I feel like it would have been. I think what he did was the right thing to do. It might have been scary, but I still think so. As soon after Sue saying, "I don't know," stuff like that is kind of hard to agree with, especially murder and killing things. As, but we have a literal person who threatens to kill people at the very second of just looking at him as he soon points at Bakugo as everyone soon agrees oh yeah saying what the hell soon after that Aizawa soon comes in saying alright everyone settle down as like in this in this timeline Aizawa didn't take full damage from the Nomu because Ku Kulin was there to help him out was there to help him out and take care and block each and every one of the Nomu's attacks. So yeah. He's not so yeah. Aizawa is at full strength and he's not weakened like he would be in canon. With that he soon tells them that's what something important for next week is gonna happen for them. And that being the UA Sports Festival. As everyone begins feeling psyched about the UA Sports Festival. How it's the perfect chance to show their skills. In one, and when they graduate from UA. The, and, sh- and have their debut. This is the perfect chance to get scouted out by pro agencies. And become sidekicks. Soon after. But even if you get scouted out by a pro. Most people don't. Basically don't leave out of being a sidekick. Or if they do, it, they know they don't know what to do after they get their own agency. With that, you gotta work hard to stand out and and with your fellow with your fellow classmates because it won't be just the hero course students, but also students from support, general studies, and business as well. As Izuku hears support, he's wondering. This may, this is the perfect place for Hatsume to show off her so-called babies. 
as he as every time now he thinks of her, he begins blushing. And soon after, Aizawa soon says, Midoriya, huh? We need to talk about your court, about your quirk. As he's saying, don't worry, I've signed a certain paperwork about me relying to use my phone. However, I won't, none of them will not kill. I made that abruptly clear. They listen to me anyway. They do listen to me, remember? As I was always saying, fine. However, you're only restricted three summons. As you can't use any others. As saying, cool, I'm okay with that. At that, as I was saying, huh, surprising. Somebody, so you feel like you're good enough with the summons that you already choose throughout the entire sports festival? As saying, yeah, don't worry. I got nothing to worry about. As Izu as saying, all right then, class dismiss. With every, with that, everyone still thinks that Izuku is being cocky, but he's got the skills to he's got he's got the summons to back it up. After all, with that, soon after, I, everyone gets hyped up and is excited for the sports festival. Even Ochako, who tries her best to psych herself up, saying that she's going to do her best, with everyone. F- about the rose cover as Izuku realized rose cheek girl is trying to psych herself up to so she can give it everything she's got realizing that she has a material motive why she wants to give it her all during the sports festival after that the soon after everyone in everyone from other courses being general studies and possibly support course wanted to see about about everyone in class 1A since they were able to take on actual villains and not only that and also check out the competition as well with that Bakugo gets annoyed and basically tells them move it extras as everyone in class 1A saying you can't tell ev- call people that just just because they're in your way that's so rude as he's saying that's just Kachan when has he ever been when has he ever been considerate about other people's feelings? As that, I, Shin So soon appears saying, Well, now that I see you all, I think of everyone here in Class 1A is nothing but pompous asses. As saying, Well, you could try your. B-. Even many of us in the general studies had to, wanted to become part of the hero course, and but ha- however, didn't have what it takes to become a hero and had to choose a different course like general studies or business but for us but the sports festival is also a way for us to show what we can do as well being we can they also meet that also means you they can replace some of the students in class 1a with students from cl- from the general studies or in other class 1b uh, soon after so you better watch out. You can act pompous today and then get kicked out the next after the sports festival. Just so you remember that. As Bakugo gets pissed hearing this, thinking that he's thinking that he's hot shit or something like that. As Izuku saying, yep, it's kind of true. Many people in general studies wanted to get into the hero course. And to us... They think that we're nothing but selfish bat, selfish hotheads that took on actual villains and think that we're hot shit. To be honest, it makes sense. After all, to me, to somebody like me, I was born quirkless, and right now I still am. It's only thanks to the demon summoning app that I'm able to become this strong. After that, after every after the crowd died down. Izuku soon was heading to the cafeteria with Ochako and Ida catching up as he as he asks, seriously guys, you what you guys are so slow, you know that? As saying, you just too much in a hurry, Midoriya. As saying, sorry. As she re- asks, so why are you so much in a hurry, Deku? I mean, is there a reason why? As Izuku began blushing because he's thinking of Hatsume again, saying, Oh, no reason. No reason at all. 
as they as both as both his friends began being confused as she as soon after a voice behind him saying Deku wait Izuku is that you as he soon re- recognized the voice and behind him that being Io Nita as, and that's it thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed the video please tell me what you guys think in the comments below I would love to hear them. Please like and subscribe, which helps out my channel a lot. At any rate, this is Leon Moki, signing out. Later.